Hey guys, and welcome to a tutorial that it's a launchpad tutorial. That's it, just a launchpad. So you know how in some videos people use the very right of their launchpad to switch, like the volume, the arm, the stop, track on, solo, send, B, send, A, like stuff like that on the very very right. I'm gonna show you how to do that with your launchpad. So, first you're gonna um, leave one MIDI and two audio. And you're gonna go drag a drum rack into here. No, not a drum rack, instrument rack. You're gonna go drag an instrument rack and you're gonna. I'm gonna go in this mode because I'm used to it. You're gonna make sure that it, the red, the recording button's on. And MIDI, just if you want to see lights, just do this, and then I'll show you how to. Uh, I'll show you how to use these in a second. But right now, I'm, you're gonna want to click your instrument rack, and you want to go down here and open everything that. If it's black like this, you want to go make it yellow by clicking on it and opening it. Now you're gonna drag eight drum racks. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Oops, not line. Eight. You're gonna want to drag eight, five, six, seven, eight. So now you're gonna head over to chain. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you're you're gonna use something called the chain selector, and this is what you're gonna be see moving when you click button. So I want you to right click. Right click on the little tab and hit map to macro one and then you'll see that change. Now click MIDI up in the top right and click on the chain selector circle. You're gonna then you're gonna hit the top two so the top one on the very right and the bottom one on the very right at the same time like this. Now you should see something like note E six to B six. Those that are two buttons that you just pressed and you need to press the lowest buttons. I'll give you a picture right now. There's the picture. I just want um, to make sure that you guys know where it's at. Alright, so now you're going to change this number to 7. And you're going to go out of MIDI and you're going to see that now there's a little green dot right there. And when you click the first button or second button, it moves. And that's what you want to happen. And it should only be with the, the very right buttons. So you're gonna see that be moving. Now you're gonna make a little staircase. You're showing that um, the samples that you have are in different places, are in, are in different chains. Here, you're gonna make a huge staircase. And I want you to check that you that, this, that the chain is moving to every single one of them. Because if it's not, that means that you probably hit the wrong button, and you assigned it to something else. So it's skipping one. And make sure that's always seven, cause it counts zero. So now we're gonna go to MIDI, and we're gonna do the same thing. Except, oh well, yes, we're just gonna do the same thing. Drag a instrument rack, and then we're gonna drag some. Uh, oh geez, no, I don't want that to happen. I want the. You're gonna drag a MIDI rack, MIDI effect rack. You're gonna drag a MIDI effect back into there, and you're gonna open this up just just like last time, and you're gonna drag eight of them, just eight effect racks. Four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Okay. Oop. Yeah. And then I can't get. I can't do it. Um. I think I did something. No, I didn't. Okay. So go back to there. Make sure you have eight. Now go back to chain, and you're gonna see that it doesn't have the green thing on it. All right. Um. Next. So you got your eight minis, and you're gonna make sure that it, it should not have any green. Now map to macro one, just like last time. Now click the midi, and then chain selector that used to be macro one. Click on there, and then do the same thing that you did last time with your launch ride. Picture again if you need it. <laughs> there. You're going to change that to 7. And now you're going to check that it actually moves. Then you're going to make a little staircase, just like last time. 
Now you're going to be seeing these little red line moves, red line move. If you have it in my mode, the this way, you won't be seeing it if you have it this way. I just can't use it this way for some reason, but uh, so and make sure you do the scissor case so 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 the chain is telling it to do do the right light in the right area in the right chain, right light and right in the <laughs> tongue twister, but. Here, let me just drag all these. This will be in, this template will be in the description if you need it, because it's not that really hard to make. But if you just want it quickly, it's right here for you. Now that should be everything, but this MIDI should not be checked. If it's not checked, not it should not have this little red recording sign. If it does, change it back to the instrument rack, because that that's in, um that's telling where the samples are and to play that samples in there now if you look at if you try to um in user make sure you have you have to be in user one mode the whole entire time now i want you to like push some buttons on your launch pad to make sure that the lights are working and then i'm gonna go drag a sample into one of these drum racks to make sure i got make sure everything's working here let's go drag a sample now, if, if this is off, that means, it doesn't mean that it's off, it, it just means that you don't see it. So here, I'm going to go get a conga, put it right there. Now, there is a problem, because we aren't in the right chain. Now go here, and then now you can hear it. Let me turn up the sound, just to show you. Now, you should you should see the sample being played when you press the button. Now when you press the other buttons, it obviously won't work. So there is your little tutorial. If you want this, it'll be in the description below. And just make sure the MIDI's working. I'm going to make a simple dimple <laughs> light effect. I'm going to grab this. See, I'm going to be in my first chain. And I'm going to go drag and chord. Shows this working. Now you should Wait, no, I forgot to do the key, so I'm just going to do the key. Um, now, if you do this, it sh everything sh will be working. And if it's not, if the lights, are, if just the lights aren't working, then you're going to need to reassign the launch pad input and output and make sure this is on in. Alright, um, if you want any more tutorials and you have any problems, just stick it up in the comments below and make sure always this is on, this is red. And if you want to put different samples in different areas, in, diff in different chains, just like click the other one. That's the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, oops, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. Um, if you need any help, remember, just tell me in the comments below and I'll help you. And for any of you expert or ex or not expert or bit for any of you expert launch padders that are there like I'm gonna say launch pad covers you can help too launch launch essence I'm gonna tell you now and anybody can help and it'll be appreciated too if, if you can help them when I'm not there so yeah if you like this please rate comment subscribe and remember this will be in the description below See ya!